So you make music, whether you're a producer, singer, songwriter, rapper, beat, it doesn't matter. We need to stay productive and creative at the same time. How do we do that without hitting burnout? Especially when you have a day job or you might be going to school, you have a wife and kids at home that you have to take care of while trying to squeeze the most out of that 45 minutes that you have every night to make music and make it happen. How do we do that? I'm gonna show you how in this video. What's going on guys, Adam Ivey, sellmusic.com, here to help you go further, faster in your music career by sharing proven marketing techniques and strategies to help transform that passion for making music and turn it into a legitimate business that's gonna provide you with freedom and fulfillment, two of the most important things in life in general. Productivity, something that we've looked up on YouTube, you're watching this video right now, trying to figure out how to get the most juice out of the orange in your day-to-day -day routine. It's something that I've struggled with in the past. I'm a chronic procrastinator. You know, this might resonate with you guys. Do you ever wait till like the last minute to get something done because you convinced yourself that you're the most productive. You're, the, you're on point, you have the focus because you have to be. And that's not the way that life needs to be. When you have that anxiety, when you have that stress, when you have that bearing uh, weight on your shoulder, the overbearing weight on your shoulder to get more done. And then when you're relaxing on a Saturday or you're watching TV with your significant other, you feel guilty because you know that you can get more done out of the time you have available to you. As entrepreneurs, as music creators, pretty much the same thing in my book. We're trying to make a career out of something that we're pulling from within us, right? That creative side. So how do you stay productive while staying creative and not hitting burnout? It's something that I've dealt with. It's something that you might be dealing with right now. So in this video, I wanted to break down my personal structure, my personal organization, some tools that I use, the team, Team Adam Ivy uses on a day-to-day -day basis to get more done, be more structured, more organized with uh, you know, being able to chase your dream, being able to go after that vision that you have inside. So uh, the first thing I need to start with is we need to start with the productivity planner that I, I highly recommend to every single one of my students. If you've watched uh, my little production uh, productivity videos in the past, you know that this is something that I live by, I sleep by. I have like eight of these floating around my house and that's what, that's what I'm talking about. Productivity plan. I'm gonna have links to everything that I mention if there is a link, if it's linkable, in the description box below. But if you're one of my students, right? I have over a thousand students now in my programs over the last few years. This is something that's almost a requirement. It's, it's highly recommended. Productivity planner. This thing right here is a godsend. This is an unused one. This is one of my newer ones. But this right here, be able to plan out your days, be able to look at the day. What are you trying to accomplish that day? How does it work into the next day? Uh, and then you can go through and be accountable and carry this thing around with you. I know it looks kind of kind of uh, like a Bible or something, but you carry this around and it will become your productivity planner Bible to be able to move you forward in the right way. One thing I love about this is it's physical. It's a physical product. How many times have you written down something in your phone to do later? Maybe your notes. Uh, I don't even want to show you my notes app right now because it's full of a bunch of stuff that I wanted to do or go back to that I never did. It is, cr it is collecting digital dust. Something like this is a constant reminder of, you know what, I'm gonna keep myself accountable. I'm gonna go through. This also has, and, and I'm, I'm not like the author of this or anything, I wish, right? But it has quotes, it has different things to think about and stay mindful, because mindfulness is incredibly important to staying productive. You have to be self-aware. You have to understand who it is and what it is you're trying to accomplish. And the productivity planner is a must have. If you're in my class, if you're one of my students, let me know in the comments below how this has impacted you and then recommend it to everybody else uh, if it's helped you. Now, I just wanted to take a second to have a puppy break. Look at Cooper, 14 weeks old. He wanted to let you guys know that it would really mean the world to him if you'd like, comment, and subscribe. So let's get back into it. All right, so the next thing that you need to start implementing right now, if you haven't yet, is scheduling out your days. This is different than using the productivity planner because the productivity planner is going to track your goals. It's going to track what you need to accomplish that day as far as to-dos, tasks, and why you wanna be doing that. So you can stay a little bit more accountable. However, if you have an iPhone, if you have an Android, it doesn't matter, I'm not here to argue which phone is better. All of those phones have calendar apps. And so everything from getting up, making breakfast, going to the gym, spending time with a significant other, going to your day job, what you're doing on lunch break, what you're doing after work, are you working out, are you coming home, are you working on music, are you answering emails, everything. And I know it sounds really um, a little bit exaggerative, but I'm not exaggerating. You need to be able to go into your phone, go to the day, I mean, I'm not gonna show you my personal calendar. Are you kidding me? This is in 4K. You could see some pretty intimate stuff here. <laughs> All jokes aside, 
You guys need to be able to use that calendar app and schedule out your day so you know what's going on. When you wake up and you roll out of bed, are you living proactively or reactively? Are you jumping right into messages, right into DMs, right into the different things that other people are expecting of you? Or are you jumping into the day proactive and saying, I'm gonna make this day my bitch and I'm gonna use that productivity planner and the calendar combined to do so. Definitely use it. Even if you're not scheduling out 15 minute blocks throughout your entire day, look at it as something that's going to make your life easier, even if it's a little bit more work up front. And that goes for anything that I mentioned in this video. When you change up your routine, when you step outside the box of normalcy that you're used to living in, it's going to seem like a task. It's going to be a little annoying at first, but if you embrace it, no different than knowing that eating healthier is going to give you the results as far as what you look like, how you feel, how you sleep, uh, your happiness overall. Uh, going from burgers to a salad might not be super uh, exciting, but if you embrace it, knowing that it's going to give you the change that you're looking for, you can go into it with a lot more, uh, you know, positivity and, and embrace it with love. So definitely do that. The, the calendar app, uh, doesn't matter if it's on an iPhone, whatever. And in fact, in the comments below, if you have a calendar app that you absolutely love, especially if it's free, recommend it to the rest of us. Daisy also wanted to make an appearance. Say hello. She's shy. All right, so another thing that's had a huge impact in my own productivity is called the Pomodoro method or the Pomodoro technique. Pomodoro being Italian, I believe, for tomato, uh, because somebody in our lives at some point probably had one of those tomato timers. I can put it up on the screen for those youngins watching this video that have no idea what I'm talking about. However, I don't have one of those timers. My grandma and my mom have. I have this one. It's the new age tomato timer. It's a $15 timer off of Amazon. I'm gonna have a link in the description box below. It's clean, blends right in with my desk. And the greatest thing about it is if I set the timer for 30 minutes, it's real easy to glance down and see how much time you have left. So the Pomodoro technique, the Pomodoro method, uh, as I've explained before, is a set amount of time working and then a set amount of time off. So if I wake up and I need to get through emails, I'll set it for 30 minutes. I'll say, stay very strict on that 30 minutes. The second this timer goes off, it just starts beeping really loudly. Um, then I go and I take my break, right? So maybe 30 minutes on, five minutes off, 45 minutes on, 15 minutes off. However you wanna set that up. There's studies that say 20 minute spurts, 45 minute spurts are best. However, it's just a way to keep yourself accountable, especially when you're making music or you're doing tasks like social media that can be incredibly distracting. So get yourself a timer. You don't have to buy this one. Uh, but it's going to make a big change in your life if you implement it. All right, guys, so one thing that is incredibly important when it comes to scheduling and all these things that we're talking about is project management. It's something that we don't talk about. It's a term that doesn't really get thrown around much when it comes to marketing and branding and everything, but it's absolutely important because guess what? Your social media stuff is a project. Your music is a project. Your outreach is a project. You building up your brand uh, across all these different platforms and having all these different uh, you know, avenues that are building your ecosystem equate to a project. Uh, my team and I use a app called Notion. It's beautiful on mobile. It's beautiful on desktop. I'll show you a real quick uh, screenshot here of what it looks like for us. And Notion is where we add ideas for YouTube videos uh, Notion is how we track those projects, whether I'm writing a script, whether I'm writing an outline, whether one of the guys is working up some digital stuff or some shot lists for different ideas. Uh, we can put that all in different project files within Notion and then track it, whether it's the idea phase, whether it's in process, whether it's edited, whether it's published. It's a really great way to not only keep, uh, keep in contact with teams, but also keep yourself accountable in a visual way that you can jot down ideas very quickly and then go back to them later and it's all all organized and in one place. Um, I'm gonna have a link for Notion in the um, description box below. If you want me to do like a full blown how to make Notion, uh, you know, take take you to the next level with Notion, let me know. I'd love to do a video uh, breaking down how we use it for not only YouTube, although YouTube is kind of our primary focus, we also do some digital uh, creation as far as the website and links and upcoming launches and um, even outreach, uh, you know, for sync licensing and stuff like that. We manage some of that through Notion. So Notion, link in the description box. Let me know if you want a full blown video, but it's gonna get you tightened up. Now, speaking of growing your brand and your business on social media that I talk about all the time here on this channel, one thing that's been a huge game changer for not only myself, but the majority of my students is social media scheduling. I used to uh, push an app that's no longer in, um, commission when it comes to the app store, but I've found one that's much better and I've been way happier with it. And that's later. 
You might have heard of Later. Later is one of those long-term OG, officially partnered with Instagram type of apps that's not going to leave you high and dry, is going to follow through with exactly what they tell you that they're going to do. And they have a huge customer service team and support uh, team, development team, that's always adding new integrations. They have a great email list. So if you go sign up at Later, I'm gonna have a link in the description box for that as well. They do have a free plan. Don't think that everything I'm telling you, you have to pay for, you don't. Utilize what you have access to until what you have access to pays for what you want. You're gonna see very quickly that the paid program, the paid plan, in fact, I think I have the growth plan with later. I don't have a free membership or anything like that. Uh, it allows me to schedule my social media posts. It allows me to kind of visually see what things are going to look like. And I'm not saying that you have to schedule everything. I think it's still important to be present on social media and do things kind of same day once in a while. But if you're anything like me, I used to get crazy anxiety every day when I'd look at the clock and it was seven o'clock at night. And I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to post today, nor do I know what I'm gonna post the rest of the week. And it's important to me to stay present with you guys on social media. So if you haven't followed me on Instagram, come follow me at Adam Ivy. Later is going to be a game changer for you. All the different features and benefits that we've been discovering, that we've been digging up. You can post to Twitter, you can post to Facebook, Insta, all this stuff. Uh, in fact, I think they have a scheduling tool for TikTok now, which I will be utilizing uh, in the near future. And you know, stay tuned for a TikTok video coming very soon. Anyway, if you use Later, if you use a different scheduling app, I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. Start scheduling your posts, stop living on the edge of your seat, and be purposeful with what you're doing. It's going to help your productivity so that when you're on social media, you can be social rather than spending 45 minutes getting stressed out about what you're posting and if the caption came through right. Uh, and you can start going about your day in a lot less stressful way, a lot more purposeful way while moving the needle ahead, which is the main pur purpose, the main purpose, the main purpose of this video. Use later, it's gonna be a game changer for you. One last thing, guys. That's super important. I'd feel incredibly guilty if I didn't include this in this video, is scheduling time off, right? We could schedule the things we need to do. We could schedule making music and sending emails and growing our audience and scheduling social media posts and working on project management. But if you're not giving yourself permission to take a step away from everything, you're gonna hit burnout or boredom. Two of the, two of the B words that we don't like to use when it comes to building a business right? Building business. A lot of whole B words, right? But burnout and boredom, two things that you want to avoid at all costs, which taking a step away from screens, taking a step away from phones, taking a step away from networking is going to give you a little bit more energy. It's going to allow you to realign and focus. Because if you're looking at screens nonstop from 6 a.m. to midnight every day, you're going to sleep with your phone on your face. You're waking up with the phone on your face. You're going to get burned out real fast. You're going to wonder, why am I doing this? Understanding your why, understanding why you wanna be more productive, understanding how you're going to do it and implementing all these different things that we talk about in this video, getting systems, getting organization wrapped around what you're trying to accomplish is just as important as taking a little bit of time off here and there, being able to watch TV without being guilty, take your dog for a walk, sleep a little bit longer, take a shower uh, for 20 minutes instead of the five that you're usually rushing and stressed out about before work. You know, sleep is important, diet is important, exercise is important, but giving yourself time, giving yourself time to reset, whether that looks like going to the gym and just being away from people for 30 minutes, 40 minutes, an hour, it doesn't matter, whether that's getting up and meditating, reading, all these different things that I could spend another hour talking about. If they're scheduled, then you're not gonna feel guilty. If you're just winging it, then you always feel like you're getting pulled back into something. But if on your calendar, if in your planner, if you have a Pomodoro technique or a Pomodoro method that's saying, hey, I'm gonna set this thing for 45 minutes and I'm not gonna do anything. I'm gonna go watch some TV, I'm gonna go cook, I'm gonna take some time, maybe call loved ones. That's a great way to kind of step away from all the digital clutter and the digital noise that we deal with on a regular basis. Let me know in the description, or let me know in the comments below rather, not the description, if you can get into the description, I'm just kidding. In the comments below, let me know if you're implementing these things already. If you saw my old productivity video, if these things are something that you've implemented into your life and how they've made an impact, negative or positive. I bet you if you implement these things, you're gonna see a huge positive change. And if you don't know already, this video is gonna move you in the right direction as well. If you're not yet, click that subscribe button to join the channel family here. Join me over on Instagram. And until next time, I appreciate you watching.